What's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG, and today I have for you guys yet another booster box of Bandit Ring. Now, you guys might be saying, FST, what in the world has compelled you to buy yet another booster box of Bandit Ring when you've already opened up seven, gotten amazing pulls, graded all those amazing pulls, received tens, bought more cards, and now are getting ready to grade those? Well, when I opened up those seven booster boxes of Bandit Ring, I had to do them one after another after another. I had to do them super quickly because I needed to get those cards from those booster boxes packaged up and sent off to PSA the next day in order to make it in for their June special. And I wasn't really able to enjoy all of the amazing artwork and all the amazing EX cards in this set as much as I would have liked. So I picked up this final booster box just to have some fun, just to get... One more opening of Bandit Ring in. This is an amazing set, so... Just amazing, and I just... I love these cards, and I think it would be great to give Bandit Ring sort of the swan song on my channel. And, uh... Open up 20 more first edition booster packs. So I would love to get a full art that I haven't pulled out of this uh, booster box, because I've only pulled two of the full arts. Uh, I have pulled a large majority of the ultra rares. I do not want another ultra rare. It's probably the uh, only time you're going to hear someone say that from a Bandit Ring booster box, but I really don't want an ultra rare. Uh, I've got two Mega Rayquazas graded a 10. I've got three Primal Kyogres graded a 10. Um, I have an Energy Retrieval PSA 10. Uh, I have a Groudon that is going off to PSA very soon. So just want to have some fun with this opening. Nothing crazy, no heart attacks. I mean, I'd love to pull a Full Art Mega. I've only pulled one Full Art Mega um, out of uh, all of my Japanese booster box openings ever. So we have a Gyarados, Porygon, Relicanth, Porygon 2, and first pack we have a Mega Ampharos EX. Very nice, that'll be our Mega for the box, as uh, usually Bandit Ring booster boxes come with two regular EXs, one Mega EX, as, gotta get the camera focus in on it there, and uh, one, no, okay, one Mega EX, one uh, regular, uh, one Full Art, and two regular EXs. So hoping for that, for those pulls here, that would be really nice. But we'll see. We have an Ampharos Spirit Link, Wooper, Oddish, Quagsire, and Claydol. Now, of course, I've opened up seven booster boxes of this in the past. So if you want a much more in-depth look at all of these cards, I'll try to talk about some of these more than I would in my regular seven uh, booster box openings. But uh, if you're looking for more... I have seven boxes. Go check it out. Uh, we have an Ancient Trait Metagross. I'm really uh, disappointed they didn't make this a hollow, and they made the regular Metagross a hollow uh, instead of that. Uh, we got a Beldum, a Baltoy, and a Gardevoir hollow. Very nice. I did not pull many Gardevoirs. Metagrosses, and I feel like there was one other hollow card I did not pull a lot of. Uh, Ancient Trait Gyarados. That's the other card I didn't pull a lot of. So, pulling... Even just like those hollow cards would be amazing. And I am doing all of the uh, pack tricks and such off camera. Just a little bit easier for me. We have a Flash Energy. Sableye with amazing artwork. I'm really looking forward to the uh, Ancient Traits Sableye promo that's coming in Koro Koro, I believe. Got a Gumi. A Upside Down Inkei. This is how the Inkei is supposed to look. But it's upside down. And a Registeel. Open up the next pack here. I've sort of been putting off cleaning up all the bandit ring crap on my floor uh, in, in anticipation of opening up this box. Uh, we have a Regirock, Ariados. That uh, Ariados is very playable with my Champ EX and Sceptile EX. Uh, what is this? Eevee, Cottony, and an Ancient Trait Porygon Z Hollow. Very nice. Not the Gyarados, but still a very nice hollow pull. As I have completed the regular set of Bandit Ring, 
So any card out of here that is not a full art and probably any ultra rare will be a duplicate. That does not mean it will be up for uh, trade or sale. Uh, only up for trade or sale if I uh, say so. So please keep that in mind. Got a giant plant forest, a Matang, a Golet, Magikarp, and a Vile Plume. That Vile Plume is going to be very playable as well. People are talking about a Vile Plume Giratina decks to basically totally lock out your uh, your opponent, but I don't know if those are going to be very playable. Um, it seems like with the amount of time it would take to set up both uh, Vile Plume and Giratina and start attacking, um, your opponent would already be pretty much set up. As we have a Tyranitar Spirit Link, Rotom. I, did, I do not pull a lot of this Rotom Comet, which is very weird. I've had to look very hard through... Uh, my uh, booster boxes when I was making my complete set. You got an unknown there, a uh, Larvesta, and an Entei. Yeah, so again, hopes for this box. Hopefully a full art. That's That would be the one thing I'm hoping for. If anything, we got a Regice, Regice Gloom, Ancient Trait Ball Toy. Very nice artwork on this Ancient Trait Ball Toy. Porygon. And a Hoopa EX. Yes. Really happy about this. Hoopa EX is probably my favorite regular EX from this set. Uh, just watching the movie trailers, Hoopa EX is so frightening. It's the most, like, it really lives up to its, I think it's, maybe it's the Jin Pokemon, but it, honestly, I feel like it could be called the Demon Pokemon. It's just so sinister and frightening and it's just amazing so that's an awesome EX card we've got two EX's out of this box so far you got a lucky helmet Flareon, this is going to be very playable with its ability turning every stage 1 Pokemon into a fire type Meowth, Combi, and Ace Trainer which is uh, being talked about to replace N as the next sort of good draw supporter, but I don't think it will because it's very situational. You can only play it when uh, you're down prize cards. Um, of course, it's a very good card. Uh, you shuffle and draw six, and your opponent shuffles and draws four, three. Uh, looks like we might have something nice in this pack. So uh, we got a Faded Town, I believe is the English translation, but I really like Color Drain City much better. Uh, we have a Goo Sligoo, Oddish, Gumi, and Awesome, an Ancient Trait Entei. Very nice. We pulled two Ancient Trait Hollows in this box, which is awesome. You know, I'm trying very hard when I do these uh, tricks to not look at the back card, just so that I'm as surprised uh, as you guys. Vespaquin, this is going to be very playable. Uh, when the card in the back comes up, and we have a Relicanth, and yes! Oh boy! Oh my god, Full Art Lugia EX! Wow! I don't think I could have asked for anything better out of this opening. This Lugia EX is amazing. Oh boy. Okay. Wow. I had not pulled this card yet. So that's... I have one card saver here. Which I will throw this Lugia EX into. This is... All of the full arts in Bandit Ring are amazing. But this... This really brings back memories of... Uh, Pokemon the movie 2000, watching that, uh, I don't know which full art I like as I struggle to put this in a card saver, I don't know which one I like more, either this one or the one from uh, Plasma Gale, as uh, I have the Plasma Gale in a PSA 10, so I am kind of a little biased. Now, I was debating not opening up the rest of these packs once we pulled a full art, uh, but I think I will. I mean, I suppose it's not technically weighing, because, I mean, you can still get hollows and EXs and such out of these packs. But, um, they wouldn't have a chance for a full art, so. We got a Paint Roller, Curlia, I will go a little faster now, Spinarak, 
Sableye and Metagross Hollow. Very nice. Nice to see that. I'll throw the full art Lugia in the back. That's going to be awesome for my next PSA submission. Full art Lugias run about $20 to $25 on eBay. So I paid $33 for this booster box. So definitely going to make, make up the value there. With all the EXs and hollows and such. Should have one regular EX left. I'd really like a, um, a Curem Machamp or a uh, Lugia. I think Curem Machamp, Lugia, or Giratina. And there's a Verizion Hollow. I pulled that in, I think, maybe every single box I've opened. But those four EXs uh, and Mega Tyranitar. But we're not getting another Mega in this box. But those four, that I have not pulled more than one of them. So getting one of those in these uh, final couple packs would be very nice. We have Hex Maniac, Upside Down Inkay, Go Lurk, a uh, Magikarp, and Ancient Trait Metagross. Really happy with that Full Art Lugia pull. And it's, it's a full art that I don't have. Um, not a full art that I haven't pulled, a full art that I don't have. Which is very nice and probably more than I could have hoped for as I have probably over, I'd say maybe 75% of the full arts from this set now. Um, I'm still missing Tyranitar, Machamp, Kyurem, and Giratina, I think. But I have all of the others uh, and the ultra rares. Uh, I don't have the ultra rare trainers mail, but I mean, who wants an ultra rare trainers mail? As we pull a Volcarona Hollow, very nice. Maybe over an ultra rare energy retrieval, but I mean, with shiny primals and mega rays in the set, I mean, let's be honest, you don't want a ultra rare mailbox. So, getting down to the last pack, or last couple packs of this booster box. There should be one more EX left in here, so definitely don't tune out just yet, as we have an Eco Arm. I believe I called that Junk Arm in a couple of my openings. <laughs> got a Malamar. Uh, that's a common in the English set. Uh, you got a Golette and a Level Ball. Now, if you're asking me why I know all of this stuff about the English set, it's because I have opened Ancient Origins packs. If you have not seen that already, uh, it's probably in my popular uploads or something. I think it's past like 3,000 views by now. But um, yeah, I've opened Ancient Origins packs along with a lot of other members of Toys MCN. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely be sure to go check that out. As I believe we have our final EX in this pack. Uh, we have a Dangerous Energy, I believe is the English translation. A Ralts, Velossum, uh, Unknown, and Giratina EX, yes! So this box has just been amazing. I was able to increase my stocks on some of the hollows. Uh, maybe for an upcoming Bandit Ring sale video, maybe not, who knows. Um, able to get some nice hollows, able to pull a full art Lugia. I'm just happy I didn't pull another ultra rare Primal Kyogre, to be honest. <laughs> oh, we got a Registeel. Meowth, Vaporeon, Porygon, and Porygon Z. So last pack... Let me count the hollows. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So nothing in this last pack. But maybe because there's nothing, we'll try to open it by hand for once and see exactly how difficult it is to open a Japanese booster pack by hand. As it is clearly very difficult. Oh, okay, there we go. I got it. I, I don't think it could... Yeah, ever open these packs by hand. They're just too difficult. You rip them, you destroy the pack art. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that. It's destroyed. Destroyed there. And we'll do this on camera, because there's nothing in here. There we go. A couple of fighting types, a Porygon 2, a Vileplume, and a Relicanth. So an amazing opening of Bandit Ring here. Um, couldn't have asked for anything better. Let's do a quick Pulls recap here. Four hollows. We had Volcarona, Verizion, 
Metagross, Ancient Trait Entei, Ancient Trait Porygon Z, and Gardevoir. For EXs, we had Giratina, Hoopa, Mega Ampharos, and the full art, Lugia EX. So, an amazing booster box of Bandit Ring. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos.